boats, boats, boats. Brisbane Yamaha knows boats. Hi, I'm Aaron, the owner of Brisbane Yamaha. And today, we're having another look at 610 Tridents. Now, I've done lots of 610 Tridents, and they're, we, they're just a really, really fantastic boat. Now, why are they fantastic? Well, one, the price, but more than the price and all of the standard extras that you just won't believe the list, the ride on a 610 Trident soft top is fantastic. You would have to spend at least 50% to 100% more to get anything that will come near it. And you know, hey, if you don't believe me, come on a water test. Because every time someone comes on a water test on a 610 Trident, they buy it. And there's normally a surprised look on their face. Gee, I didn't know they were this good. Now, let's have a look. And this one's going up north, it's got a 175. But they've got these great tail water trailers, you know, they're two, just under two tonnes, so you can just tow it. They don't have to have hydraulic brakes, which makes it easy. It's a good tandem trailer. Now, Dan, and it's got the catch and release. I've done YouTubes on those, absolutely awesome. Nearly every one we do has one, and I'm not even sure if we order them without it now. I think they're just compulsory. Go down and look at the hull. Five mil hull, and it's that blade hull. It's famous. It just works. It's why Quintrex is the biggest aluminium boat builder in the Southern Hemisphere. You know, there's no one like it. There's no other company like it. And the reason is this hull and performance. Now, look at that big flare. So what does it do? It cuts through the waves. It's soft. And what happens, come on to me, Dan, the waves come up. As you cut through, the wave comes up, curls over, and it makes confused water, and then the hull rides on that confused water, and that's what makes it soft, and that's what makes the difference, and that's why they don't bang, and that's why you just go off a wave and it just straightens up. You don't need uh, trim tabs, you don't need anything. They're one of the most forgiving, easiest boats to use. Like, one of my really good mates, Clinton, he rang up, he was going to spend a fortune on a boat. I said, I don't think you need to. I think you should buy a 610 Trident. And he did, and he loves it, right? Because they're a great riding boat and they're easy. Now, so easy to tow with that trailer, catch and release. You can put uh, anchor winches and stuff on this, hasn't it? It's got a massive hatch at the front. Now, coming down that hull, you know, they're pressed and that's what makes that shape. Absolutely beautiful boat. We've put a Bimini extension, you can see. It's got the, the rocket launcher, zip, so you can put all your rods in there. And we'll look inside it. At the back, dive-style ladder. These Quintrex ladders are just fantastic. Look at that, you can't go wrong. We've put, we have got, even though you don't need trim tabs, the owner wanted uh, trim tabs on it, and that's good because you can adjust loads. I've got no problems in having trim tabs and most boats work better for them. And it's a blade type of Volvo. Obviously it's got self-draining scuppers. It's got a live well in there that you can see drains out through here. 175 Yamaha. Yeah, what would I be without Yamaha? Well, I don't think I could take another brand. I was an Evinrude dealer once, but no. I just wouldn't do it. Maybe I'd just give up being a boat dealer. Now, over here, you can see the new Yamaha. This is the latest model with the inbuilt hydraulic steering. It's just a thing of beauty. It's just another level. The engineering behind it. Dan will put up the specs. And let's see how big this boat is. Come down here, Andrew. You know Andrew, he does everything for me. I don't know if he's got the worst job in the world or the best. I think it's probably the best. Maybe Dan's got the best. Well, you better come up here, Dan. The tape measure's not, almost not. It's at least 6.3, maybe 6.4. Right, big boat. We sell it as a 6.10. It's bigger. Let's go under and show the water line. Let's get an idea of that. You on the water line? Yeah. It's 2 metres 80. There. Let's see what the beam across the middle. She's big. I can't get over it. Come somewhere here. Oh, look at that, 2.4. It's like maximum size. I thought it was big on the inside. One, 1.84. It's a big boat. 
This is a bit of just Brisbane Yamaha goodness. You know, you prime it up with a modern four stroke. You never do it unless you run out. Facing up, it just sits there. You can look at the bowl, the glass, clear bowl so you can see if you've had any water in your tank. That's just make it easy. Things, isolation switch there, just easy once again. You know, welded in rod holders, nothing worse than on a game boat or, you know, you're out there, Spanish mackerel, and all of a sudden you've got some crap rod holders. These are solid cleats that, you know, you'd be in King Island and everything in King Island, they lift the boats out with cranes. You could use that. Great transom door, you know, closes up on a bungee, lock. it's on a bungee at the moment, it's a thick door, you know, hard closes up, locks up, you know, perfect. You know, because there's some room under here. So we've got storage. You know, what you can put in there, you can put some cans, but I'll tell you what I put in there. I put me wet shoes for when I'm walking on reefs and sand and stuff. You know, I've got these Yamaha soft little booty things that I, I chuck in there and I've just got them in my boat. You know, you can store, you can hide stuff in there if you're some sort of smuggler. Now, across the back, twin batteries underneath. You've got that good lounge there that just folds up, gets out of the way. Obviously, you just undo a pin and the whole thing just comes out. So if you want to get rid of it there and just lean up against it, or if grandma's coming with me, this is where granny sits. Storage here, tackle boxes, nice live bait tank with the window. It's quite a size. You definitely get your slimies, mackerel and the slimies and mullet and stuff in there that you'd want. Uh, good side pockets, it's got a deck wash fitting there, you can see. The seats, sturdy, big skipper side seats that with slides on them. You know, so you can really stand here nice. Sit back, drink holder, radio, you know, radio, good Yamaha control down here, that's where I'd want it. Really sturdy steering wheel, put your phone in here. You know, hook it up, you've got storage. You can take seven people in one of these little beauties. Seven people, the whole family. A couple of your kids can bring their friends and off you go. Now, to make it, I talk about being easy and boating is about easy. You know, there's times in your life, you start off with maybe a small boat, 420 Renegade, you build up, you end up with one of these and then you go back. And the thing is, if you don't make it easy to use, you just won't use it. This thing, look, getting through that windscreen, this is just a thing of beauty, isn't it? I, I really like it. A couple of bungees that hold it in. That just comes over. Get over all this safety gear, because this is going out, and you get everything, E-perbs, flares, fire extinguishers. And up the front here, very easy to get into the anchor. You know, you take a couple of the kids, someone sits up here. Maybe my one of my kids would probably do a free willy up here. You know, king of the world. And I tell you, so at least you are the king when you own one of these. Very, very versatile boat. Just come through easy. Now, we've got a kill tank here that's plumbed out. And what you can do with that kill tank, you know, it's more than big enough to put mackerel in. You know, put anything in there. Or you can turn it into another 75 litres of fuel. So it comes with 160 litres and you can get another 75 litres, but you lose the kill tank. Up to you. I think 160 litres is more than enough on a measly Yamaha. If you're buying one of them other thirsty brands, well, it's up to you, you know? Big glove box, windscreen, it's just storage under the seats, checker blade flooring. You know, if you want our trim shop, could put something in, carpet over the top, the rubber matting. You know, sometimes we put um, sea deck in it. This. Nice Bimini extension, that's just, Brisbane Yamaha does that. Just in Queensland, gee, it's been hot, it's been terrible. The weather's been hideous up here. It's been hot, it's been wet. It's like Darwin in summer, right? But that'll be gone and we'll be back to beautiful days. Today's not too bad. You know, and Dan's looking at me going like this. Enough about the bad weather, Aaron. Well, I can't, it's been hot. Now, let's take this on the water and see how this little beauty goes and you'll want to buy one. So 610 Trident with a 175. Firstly, have a listen to it. Unbelievably quiet and awesome. And people go, 
Normally, I just tell everyone, put a 150 and it's fine. But sometimes they're rated to a 175, people want it. So how fast does it go? Well, it'll do 85. It goes like a rabbit shot in the bottom. You know, and have a look at this. The drone won't become close to staying with it. You know, this is um, 85 kilometers an hour in a boat. It's fast. You know, there was speed boats and stuff. And, and probably that was not mucking around and flogging it or doing anything. So probably with some props, you'd probably get a hundred out of it, I'd reckon, um, which is real fast. Fall off a, come off a ski or a biscuit or something at a hundred. Oh, hey, look at this. Just quietly, watch this. So we're dead stopped. Let's have a look and I'll go, and I'll do what we normally do. I'll just plant it. I'll plant it. Plant. Instantly on the plane, it actually has too much, but watch this. Have a look at this. So I come down and I'll just slowly increase the speed. And I'll look at this, 12 kilometers, 18 kilometers an hour. I'll just stop, hook onto the top. We're on the plane, yeah, it's 20 kilometers, 18. Holy crackers, it'll sit on the plane at like 17 kilometers an hour. That's fairly impressive, isn't it? It might, it'd probably do less than that. You know, that's just a sign of this hull. A lot of R&D goes into everything with Quintrex. Massive R&D, you just keep looking at it. They're never happy, never happy. Have a look at this thing. I haven't touched the trim tabs. I haven't needed to look at them at all. But I suppose if I put a couple hundred kilos of fish in here, or I brought out one of my mates that cast a huge shadow. And have a look at this thing go. I'll put a little bit of trim on it. 5'1", 34, 35 knots, 5'5", five, 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 37. I'm just gonna back it off a bit. This thing is a rocket ship. I don't, you know put a lot of weight in it, do something, maybe you need that fast, but this is very, very fast boat. Um, certainly wouldn't want to be any faster. And whether you need that, I still say I'd probably have one with the 150 on it. Um, I don't know what there is, three, four grand or something, three grand, I don't know the difference between the price. You look that up at the time. Um, the boat, it just handles. It's just, it's just responsive. It, it's easy. You're holding on, Dan. You can see that hole. Look at that hole. Just squirting it out. Just cutting through. Squirting out. The detailers won't even have to clean the windows on this thing. Watch this. Hold on, Dan. do that did you get that whole thing in Dan have a look at that no seriously look how tight that turn is it's not breaking loose it's just going yeah you, know, you just turn I could turn on the and I turned on the inside and I tell you now if you have a look how fast we were going your boat just won't do that you know I just don't understand why everyone that wants an alloy boat a plate boat it's strong an alloy boat, six metre, doesn't buy a trident. It makes a lot of the competition, right, certainly all those, until you get to a seven metre yellow fin, I actually think this thing's better. And certainly, all those other brands are nothing on one of these. And you know, I've sold them all, I get them all. I just really rank a trident. I just think they're, right, the 610, the 610, and don't forget, one of my other favourite boats is the Territory Legend. Look at that! Have a look at this thing just holding in at high speed. You know, if you're an idiot like me, you want to buy a Trident because it might save your life. You know, where if you did that in some of these other things, it'd probably spit you out or fall on its side 
and look, I'll take any direction you like, and the, and the, if you haven't used a trim tab, I'm gonna turn around, it's another beautiful day. Hopefully that drone's getting there, we had troubles with drones. Oh, it's probably geared into the price, I don't know. You know have a look at this thing, I'll give it a little bit of trim, just test it out. Wow. Fair Incom. Fair Incom. Yamaha, Quintrex. There's nothing better, is there, really? Oh, I'll trim it. I'll trim it up a little bit. Let's go backwards. There's not a lot of waves today, quarter, half a metre, some of them, you know. to do that in a back crusher, would ya? You know, and I think one of the biggest YouTube people liked it, went up against a back crusher with one of these. And I actually brought it out as a fair, as a camera boat. And I soon realised that it was a better boat than the one I was testing. You know, so if you're in the market for one of those overpriced things, come and get one of these. This will put a smile on your face, won't it? Have a look how beautiful it is, and easy. Just, I can throw it around, that's me doing, look at that. Woohoo! Dad's gonna lose his lunch. No, he hasn't had lunch. If you're looking for an offshore boat, if you wanna get out the banks, if you wanna go anywhere with offshore fishing, you're in southeast Queensland, in fact, anywhere, you need to look at a 610 Trident. Why the ride, the finish, the standard, fitment, the accessories, everything just comes with them. They're a fantastically built boat. They ride better than nearly anything out there. You know, at six metres, I don't think there's a pressed alloy anywhere and it kill and eat the majority of plate boats. So if you want to come on a ride, see why everyone's buying one. We've got three going out this week. Call the team at Brisbane Yamaha. 3888-1727. Or have a look online at the packages. You'll get a shock at what value it is. And I hope I see you on the water in a 610 Trident. If you're lucky.